Namaste guys, good morning. Another Monday morning, can you believe it? They seem to come around rather quickly. Okay, today we're in for a Hatha floor practice. And if you have been doing yoga with me regularly, you would have noticed that I like to sit on the floor. So today we're actually going to change that up a bit and try and do a bit more while we're standing. And hopefully it will still bring a lot of benefit to our bodies. Breathing practice today will be a simple square breath, just following my count of inhaling, holding and exhaling. And the retention will aim to reach the count of 40 and then get into the practice. Okay, bring your hands into your lap, closing eyes. Follow the breath, take a bigger inhale, Lift tall to the crown of the head, and as you exhale, let go of the shoulders and the arms, feel the weight of the arms resting on the thighs. Feel the expanse in the chest as you hold the height in the body, but soften and relax. Bring all the awareness, all the senses of the body to this time, to this space, to this moment. Listen intently, hear all sounds around you. Without changing the breath, just notice the rhythm of your breathing in your body. Take your awareness underneath you, feel your connection to the earth. Bring the awareness up through the front of the body and any exposed skin. Just feel the touch of the morning air. Lift the awareness up to the lips, take a little lick of your lips and see if you can find any taste on them this morning. Noticing the flow of air through the nose again. Focus very carefully on that and see if you can find a temperature difference between the inhale and the exhale. Keep the awareness within the body and see if you can feel the vibration of our three arms reaching every cell within. Take an easy inhale. Easy breathing. Controlling the breath to match my count. And during that count, you're trying to work from full to empty or from empty to full. Exhale completely. Inhale, six, five, Four, three, two, one, hold. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold, one, two, three, four, five, six, inhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Breathe normally. Check that the body is still relaxed. The shoulders are soft, the arms are heavy. Coming to our attention, holding the breath in the normal way and looking to hold to the count of 40. Please do take a breath before that should you need it. Exhale. Easy inhale. Hold and relax. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, Twenty-nine, thirty, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and forty. Release. Breathe easy. Hold the awareness within the body. Or any sensations around the nose and the lips. All right, next in breath, breathe tall to the crown of the head. And exhale, drop the chin to the chest. Open the eyes. Take your hands forward on your mat. Roll over the knees. Rub onto your hands and knees. Just check in with the ankles. Rotating into the ankles. In playing with the toes, opening and closing, separating to the side, looking for as much movement in the foot as you can get. Okay, then bring the toes to the floor, push your way up into downward facing dog, and slowly walking those legs out from side to side. As you walk, start to move the foot slightly forward, so you bring your feet halfway towards your hands. 
feel the weight coming into the wrists. Let's pause and hold there for a moment. Both legs to straight. Feel that weight into the wrists, maybe the release into the forearms as you lean forward. Okay, then slowly walk the hands back towards your feet. Opening the feet to hip width apart. Straightening the legs, letting the body lift to wherever it needs to lift, taking a bind of a hand to each elbow, and then gently swinging the body from side to side. And for as much slow movement as you can, just reaching around to the extreme of the twist. Next time you're over to the right-hand side, pause and hold it there. And draw the left shoulder towards the left ear. And push your weight back onto that left leg. Try and feel the stretch coming all the way from the buttock through the hip up to your shoulder. And release, come back to center, square yourself up again. Then turning to the left, pull the right, Shoulder towards the right ear and take your weight back onto that right leg. Good, release, come back onto centre, let the arms hang low, let the chin drop into the chest. And then find your belly button and slowly lift from the position of the belly button, rounding into the back, keep the chin low, keep the chin tucked in. Keep the chin tucked in, even when we're standing up tall at the top, so looking down to the floor. Chin is tucked in, lifting the head slowly, look up to the roof, push the chin high. Feel that stretch on the skin of your throat. And soften, bring the gaze forward, take your hands onto your hips, turn just the head to look over the right shoulder, draw the eyes into the corner of the eye sockets, looking down to the ground behind. And then releasing around through the front to the other side. Good. Coming back around to straight with the gaze forward. Drop the right ear to the right shoulder. Reach the left arm out. Look to reach all the way down to those fingers. And then let the weight of the arm drop next to the body. So you feel the weight of the arm exaggerating that stretch into the side of the neck. Take a little bit deeper, take the right hand, rest the weight of your right hand just above your ear. Very subtle assistance, deepening that stretch in the side of the neck. And releasing back up to center. Left ear drops to left shoulder, gazes forward. There's a little lift on the chin. Reach out to the right hand. Push it as far away from the body as you can. And let the weight drop, 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 drop. Hanging the weight of the arm into the shoulder. It's drawing the length into the neck. And taking the left arm up. Rest the weight of that hand above your ear. Just feel that stretch deepen with the weight of the hand. And then lifting slowly. Come on up. You just play with the movement you have of the head. Roll it around, reach it to wherever it feels like it needs to go. And come back to center. Okay, connecting with the arms, hands to the side, arms facing in. As you inhale, roll the thumbs open. And then as you exhale, lift the hands to the sky. Push the hands tall, try and feel that length coming from your ankles. So we're reaching for as much height in the body as we can. Take a deep in breath. As you exhale, drop the left hand forward, the right hand back, and move into a twist, turning your gaze to look to that back hand. Good. Inhale it up again to the top. Exhale to the other side. Feel that your arms are lined up with the center line of your mat. Good. Inhale up to the top again. Exhale to the right. This time, line up with the center of the mat. And then see if you can find a little more movement. It can come right from the ankles, allow the hips to move. Just like a corkscrew up through the spine to the crown of the head. And then as you inhale, come back up to center. And exhale to the left. 
first stop to line up with the center of your mat, and to let that movement go, take that backhand behind, around and around and around until there's no more movement left. Good, inhale, back around to center. Inhale, the arms up to top. Breathe up tall, full height into the body. Hold the left hand up there. Drop the right hand. Push the arms away from each other so we get the movement in the upper back. But no movement at the position of the heart or the belly button. Still a straight line into the spine. The movement is just in the shoulders. Get, change that position by floating the arms open to the sides. Right hand now reaching to left hand. Really working its way down towards your knee. Good. Inhale up to the other side again. This time, slide your hand down your leg. Bring some more movement into the spine. Keep that top elbow open so it's directly above your head. You're not going into a forward fold at all. Look for a little more movement. Let the hips push across. Let the right ear drop to the right shoulder. You can bring that top hand overhead. Pausing there, just feeling that stretch coming from the ankle. All the way up the side of the body through the armpit, up into your arm. Okay, lift it up slowly. Change to the other side, reach it up tall. Just movement into the shoulders first. Let the hands slide down towards your knees, start to fold to the left. Let the left ear drop to the left shoulder. Push the hips over a bit, and then drop that top hand. And easy left, coming back up to the top. Okay, taking the left hand out to the side. Thumb up, feet your hand across behind your back, assist it around, try and turn the thumb down to the ground and bind onto your hip with your fingers. Then take the right hand around to the left hip. Inhale yourself tall, exhale. Look to deepen that twist, using the arms to draw the hips forward working in the shoulders to twist in the opposite direction. And release from the bind, round to the front. Right arm, thumb up to the sky, drop your hand behind your back, bring those fingers around, the thumb pointing down to the ground, try and bind onto your hip. Take the left hand around, bind to the right hip, inhale tall, Exhale, use the gaze, look around behind you, deepen that twist. Get nice movement, release. Take the hands comfortably onto the hips. Slowly drop forward, just coming to a tabletop, bringing the back down so it's parallel to the ground. And adjust your bind on your hands so the palms are pressing against the very top of the legs. Right angle in the hips and then push away with the hands, pushing the hips away, reaching the crown of the head forward. Try and feel the length of the lower back. And take a comfortable in breath. And on the exhale, let the upper body drop. Let the arms drop towards the floor. Keep active in the thighs, so lifting the kneecaps, the legs are straight. And allow the body to hang forward wherever it needs to. Get hands back onto your hips. Take a slow lift. Come on up. Okay, step the left leg back and the right leg forward. Don't put them on the same line. You want to keep them slightly separate so it helps with the balance. Emphasis on opening the heels a little so you feel like you're slightly pigeon toed. Your toes will just be pointing out the top of the mat. Take the hands round behind your back, interlock the fingers, reach down to the floor, roll the shoulders open, push the hips forward, keep the gaze forward and just reach your knuckles down to that back heel, opening into the chest and then working with the breath. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, start to move the body forward. Stop on the inhale. Exhale, drop a little further for the moment. The hands can rest to the bum. 
Each exhale drops you down a little deeper into the forward fold. Stay still on the inhale. Exhale. And when you reach the end of that movement, then lift the hands, turning the knuckles up towards the sky. Try to pull the palms together. And exhale, drop back into that forward fold. Good. As we lift, release from the bind of the hands, bring the hands into the hips. Roll the shoulders open, look up to the roof, and gently lift the heart skyward, coming into a back bend. Good. As we fold forward again, release the arms forward, reaching down towards the floor, dropping into that forward fold. If you want to take a bind to that front leg, you can assist the movement a little. Lift in again, reach the arms up to the sky this time, look to your hands, push the hands tall but stay soft in your shoulders, and slowly move the hands back in that space that you can see, let your gaze follow the hands, encourage the hips forward and come into the back bend. Good, lift the chin, lift the body, Bring your hands down to the side. When you change the position of your feet, just look at the imprint of your foot on the mat. And then as you bring the left foot forward, adjust, making the heels open. You want the feet to point straight out the top of the mat. Again, hands behind the back, interlock the fingers. Let the hands rest to the bum, take a deep in-breath. As we exhale, start to drop forward. Exhale, move. Inhale, keep still. Exhaling it down. When the body is hanging forward, then lift the arms. You can use the arms to take that movement a little deeper. Push the knuckles skyward. Try and feel that the arms are in a straight line pointing up to the sky from the shoulders. Good. Lifting slowly, bring the hands down to the back, turn the palms onto the hips, roll the shoulders open, look up to the roof, gently working the hips forward, allowing the shoulders to drop back and picking that heart up, reaching it to the sky. Try and feel the movement in the spine behind the heart. Good. Lift the chin. Start to fold forward, again, move with an exhale. Let your arms come to hang in front of you. Inhale keeps you still. Exhale, drop in a little more. Inhale, still. Exhale, keep exhaling till there's no more movement left. If you want to take a bind to the leg, use that to assist that little movement. Release your bind, lift slowly. Take the arms up to the sky, reach for height in your arms, but without taking tension into the shoulders. Keep the shoulders soft, arms reaching high. Look up to your hands. Take your hands back in that space that you can see. Let the head follow, dropping into the back bend. Okay, chin up, bring yourself up to centre, release the arms to the side. Just keep the legs in the same position, hands on to hips, soften into that back leg, lift the toes away from the floor and the front leg and come down into a squat. And then reach the hands down towards the toes, softening into that back leg, feeling like you're dragging your heel on the floor. And that'll keep the length in the back of the leg. And release, lift on up slowly, change the position of the feet again, other leg coming forward, squat back into the left leg, lift the right toes, come down, and reach for the bind to the toes, 
draw the heel into the mat. Yeah, then softening slowly, come on up to the top. And coming to stand with the feet together, knees together, hands to the side, inhale, turn the thumbs open. As we exhale, lift the arms high. Bring the hands, palms to touch. Soften the hands down to heart center. Push up onto the toes. Okay, engage the core. Have a sense that you're pointing your tailbone down to the heels and then start to soften in the knees. So we come into an easy squat. Heels are off the floor. So the spine is vertical. We can keep the spine nice and upright as we come down. Just find a position where you're nice and comfortable in the squat. Spine vertical and release the arms. Turn the thumbs open. Slowly start to lift the hands. Only when the hands are above the shoulders, start to straighten in the legs. Push your way all the way up to the top again. Reach up high. Reaching the arms as high as you can, lifting off the toes as high as you can. Take a deep in-breath. And on the exhale, drop the heels to the floor. Bring the hands back to heart center, this time with the heels on the mat. Come back into the squat. So we're pushing the bum well back, keeping the back straight and flat. Keep the weight back so you can lift your toes from the floor. And then twist to the right-hand side. Hold forward some more. Take your elbow. One outside of the knee, stack the elbows and turn the palms of the hands so they're parallel to the ground. Then find your comfort there. When you're comfortable, drop that bottom hand, reaching the fingertips to the floor and opening up the top hand to the sky. Okay, bring the hands back together. Stay low in the squat. Release the twist. Reach your hands forward. Lift the hands to look under the hands. And bring the hands back to the heart, twisting to the other side. Elbow well outside of your knee. Stack the elbows again. Drop the bottom hand to the floor. Reach the top hand high. Yeah, bring the hands together, release, reach forward, lift the hands so you can see underneath them, bring the hands back to heart center, lift the toes, okay, drop the arms, slowly lifting the arms, and slowly push up, all the way up to the top again, right up onto the toes, take an in-breath here, and exhale. Drop the hands to the side. Yeah, bring the hands onto the hips to shake out into the left leg, rattling it all the way down to the toes. And then the right leg, rattling it all the way down to the toes. Okay, foot onto the floor, hands onto the hips. Weight into your right leg, bring the left knee up. And find your balance there, and then take the left knee over to the right hand side. So squeeze it across the body. Good. Then release. Round through center. Open to the side. And lift it as high as you can here. And push your foot away. Open out to the side. Good. Keep the leg straight. Swing the leg around to the front. And then over to the right. And soften the foot back to the floor. Hold that awareness in your foot. So when you put your foot onto the floor, it's into the right place. And you transfer straight over to the other side. Good. Knee to the height of the hip. Squeeze the knee across to the left. Try and bring the thigh back towards the left hip. Good, open through center, all the way around to the side. Lift, connecting with the heel, push through the heel, out to straight. Good, bring the leg around to the front, 
Lift a little higher. Take it across the body. And then soften. Back to the floor. Open the feet. A little more than shoulder width apart. Take a deep in breath. As we exhale, drop the body forward. Release the arms to the mat. Let the chin come into the chest. Just hang forward. Relaxing the hands to the floor if they touch the floor. Otherwise, just letting the upper body hang. And wherever you are, relaxing into that position. Try and drop the crown of the head towards the floor. And just notice the breath. And keep breathing through your nose. Keep the kneecaps lifted so the legs are straight. And hands up onto the hips. And slowly lift yourself. Come up to the top. Okay, bring the left leg to the center of the mat. Take quite a deep cross in the thighs and bring the left toes down to the floor. Bring the hands to heart center again and then start to squat into your leg. Your foot may come away from the floor. If you're happy with the balance, it can stay up there. If you need the balance, then just lower the toe tips to the mat. Okay, twisting again, taking the arms across to the left, fold forward, take the elbows down to the mat. So your elbows past your knee, try and stack the elbows. And then again, drop that bottom hand to the floor and reach the top hand high. Head holding the control, bring the hands back together. Oops. Lift, come on up to the top and release. Again, awareness when you place that left foot down, place it onto the mat as you need it. Deep cross on the thighs, toes to the mat if you need to balance. Sit down into the squat, going to the right this time, left elbow outside of your knee. Try and drop your hand to the floor and reach the top hand skyward. Yep, holding the balance, bring your hands back together, release the twist, lift slowly, Good. bring the feet back to the mat. Open the feet once again to the outer edges of the mat, release the hands, inhale, reach up tall, and on the exhale again, fold forward, relaxing down into the forward fold, taking a little bind to the outside, of your ankles, outside of the calves, wherever you might be. On an inhale, lift the head forward, or the chest forward. And then as you exhale, drop into the forward fold again. Your fingertips to the mat. Shuffle the feet inwards to get the legs together. Keeping the hands forward on the mat. Soften one knee, straighten the other, and then alternate from side to side. You come to stop with the left leg straight, the right knee soft, bring the right hand to the center of the mat. Open and lift that left hand, reach to the sky. Push the weight back to the left heel. Push the left butt up back. Take the weight back so you're standing on the heel of the left foot. And work into the twist. Yeah, release that top hand down. Straighten into the right leg. Soften the left knee. <coughs> right hand reaches sky. Try and find the straight line through the arms. Push the weight back. Onto the right heel, lift the toes. It's often top hand down. Taking a bind behind the ankles again. Inhale a little lift. Exhale, drop 
two four from it. And take your hands to the mat. Turn to your left, turning yourself sideways onto the mat. And then open up the legs nice and wide. Bring your hands up onto your hips. So hands are on the top of the thighs. Back is parallel to the ground. Take an in-breath and push the legs away from the shoulders. Look to find that length in the spine. And on your next exhale, let the upper body drop. Take the hands down to the floor. Bring the palms onto the mat. Slowly walk the hands backwards in between your legs, pressing the hands down. And when you find that position that the palms are just not quite touching, stop there. Work the hands to the floor so we get the release in the, reserve, in the wrists and the forearms as well. Let the crown of the head drop. Get this movement available, soften the elbows, and take the crown of the head towards the floor. And lift a little to the fingertips, reach the right hand across to the left ankle, and then reach the left hand skyward, come into the twist again. Float both hands down to the mat. Reach the left hand across to the right ankle. Reach the right hand skyward. Look up to that top hand. Again, soften hands down to the mat. Bring your hands up onto your hips. Lift yourself slowly. Come on up to the top. Hands to hips. Turn the feet open so the toes are pointing out the top and the bottom of the mat. Knees are nice and wide. Come down into the squat. Again, look to shorten from the belly button to sternum so that the tailbone is pointing down to the ground. Take the hands to the inside of the knees. Look for a little of resistance opening the knees to the side. You can keep the hands on the knees. Okay, then lift the left heel from the mat. And release the right heel from the mat to look to transfer the weight from side to side, lifting and releasing. One more round. Come back to center. Come down to lean onto your left elbow. Lift the right arm, bring the head back so you can see down your arm, and then bring your hand on the head, and in a straight line down the side of the body. Check that you're still in the squat. And slowly creep up. Good. Lift that top hand, float across to the other side. Open up the left arm, look down the length of your arm, bring it up and over again. Look for that straight line. Get slow lift up to the top. Bring the body up to upright, hands to the knees, come back into the squat a little deeper. Lift the chest. Good, nice work. Push it up to the top. Straighten into the legs, hands onto the hips. Just pause for a moment. Breathing into it. Inhale the hands up tall, and on an exhale, drop forward, keeping the toes pointed open, hands to the floor, walk your way over to the left hand side, come up onto your toes and come to sit onto your heel. Turn the right toes up from the mat. Okay, lift the body tall, find your balance here, and look to bring your hands to heart center. Yeah, nice work, hands back to the mat, walk your way across to the right leg, sit onto the toes, 
Left toes point skyward, drag the heel into the mat. Again, bring the hands to heart center, look to find the balance. And release the hands down to the floor. Walk your way back to center. Push up into the forward fold again. Reach back to bind the hand to each ankle. Take an in-breath lift and on the exhale, drop deeply into that forward fold. Yeah, bring the hands to the floor. Shuffle your way towards the center of your mat. Come and stop with the feet a good shoulder width apart. Okay, take your hands through between your legs. Lift the left hand up outside of your thigh and then reach the right hand over your back looking for a bind. Relax into that twist for a moment. Turn your gaze up to the roof. Open that top shoulder. Then slowly ease the way over to the right foot and start to lift the body, coming up to stand, opening up to the top. If you're comfortable at the top and you're balanced, then you can look to straighten that leg. If it's as straight as mine, you're doing really well. If it's straighter than mine, don't worry, everything's okay. <laughs> so open your foot. Soften your way back down to the mat. Release that bind. Check on into the arms. Look into the other side. Right hand reaches underneath. Take your hand up outside of your thigh. Look for a nice deep bind. Work into the twist before you lift. So turn your gaze up to the roof. Okay, then look down to the floor. Shift the weight across to the left foot. And slowly lift. Push your way up. Come up to straight, good, and yep, and with the balance, and straighten that leg. Watch mine carefully, I'll show you what to do. Straight to your foot's higher than your head, or not. Soften the knee, and soften your way back down to the floor. Excellent, release the arms, bring the feet together, shake out into the full length of the arms. Walk out into the legs. It from the bottom. Inhale. Lift yourself tall to the top. And the exhale, fold forward, relax down to the mat. Okay, soften into your knees. Come down to sit. Straighten the legs out to the front. Okay, just lift tall for a moment. So pushing through. The heels lengthening into the back of the legs, arms comfortably behind you, assisting the chest forward. Look to just open into the heart, look up to the roof, and take a moment to breathe slowly, looking for the control on the exhale. Okay, come back to sit. Inhale the arms up high. Interlock the fingers, push the knuckles skyward. Take a deep in breath. As you exhale, bring the body forward. Bring those hands so they're above the feet and the arms are parallel to the ground, parallel to the legs. Push the knuckles forward, look to drop a little deeper to the forward fold. And Release the bind from the hands. Place the hands onto the top of the toes, binding to the foot as best you can, or maybe you onto your ankles. It's all okay. Inhale, lift the front of the body. Exhale, draw the heart towards the shins. Keep looking to your feet. Okay, releasing slowly. Lift one up to the top.
Bring the soles of the feet in. Pop the feet right back towards you. Take a bind around the little toes. Lift up high. Fall forward. Bring the elbows onto the calf muscles and then in the upper body. Add some weight to the dropping of the knees to the floor. And take the hands forward of the shins. Try and take your elbows down to the mat. Pulling the heart to the toes. Yeah, take a little lift. Keep that right leg where it is. Lean down to the right hand side and extend the left leg out. Toes pointing forward. Bring your hand onto your hip. Roll that hip forward. Then lift up onto your hand. Pushing the body up to upright. Keep that hip forward so it's nice. Deep stretch on the outside and nice compression on the inside. Reach down with the left arm, but to bind behind your knee. Find the balance there, secure that bind to keep your body upright. And then lift the left arm, throw your right arm away from the back, reaching right arm skyward. Lower that top hand to the mat. Bring your leg back in. Roll over to the other side. Hand down onto the floor. Right leg extends. Toes are pointing forward. Roll that hip forward so you're on the side of the body. Then come up onto your hand. Get hip as well forward. You reach the right arm out. Look for the bind underneath the knee. Nice deep bind, so you can come up into the fingertips as you secure that bind. Keep the chest forward, the hip forward, and then release the left hand. Open it up to the sky. And releasing from the pose. Bring your feet back together. One more time, secure that bind around the little toes. Lift up high into the chest, fold yourself forward, taking the elbows to the front of the shins, and relax, relax down, forehead onto the big toes. And lift slowly, extend the legs out to front. Come down to lie on your back, we'll go through spinal twist and then into Shavasana. So legs together, lying down, open up the arms at shoulder height, bring the left knee up to the chest and then extend your foot skyward, pushing the heel up towards the roof, let your leg come over your body, trying to bring your foot down to your right hand, and let the shoulders roll, so you let the hips roll with the leg, try and keep the shoulders flat on the floor, push out to that left heel, Turn the gaze out to the left hand and try and let the shoulders drop back to the mat. And as you roll back onto your back, bring your knee to your chest. Take a hug and bind to that left knee, extend through the right leg, pull the whole fly down to the body, and then release your leg out to straight, open up the arms at shoulder height, lift the right foot to the sky this time, push up through your heel, as you bring that foot down to the left hand side, let the hips roll, try and keep the shoulders on the floor, try and bring your foot up to the height of your hand, then turn the gaze out to the right hand, relax into the pose, let the shoulders drop back to the mat. And as you roll to your back, bring your knee up to your chest, tight and bind to the knee. 
And extend your leg out to straight, open the feet to the outer edges of the mat. Let the little toes drop towards the floor. Relax into the length of your legs, soften into the knees. Relax the hips to the mat. Turn the palms up to the sky. Soften the whole length of the arm onto the earth. Feel your fingers in that easy curvature, nice and relaxed. Soften the body to the floor. Relax into the shoulders. Relax the weight of the head to the mat. Notice that the body is breathing. Keep breathing through your nose. Hold the awareness on the exhale. Look to slow the exhale. Pause for a moment at the top of your next in-breath. And as you let this breath go, give all the weight of your body to the earth. Pause at the top of the next in-breath. And as this breath goes, relax all the tension from your face. Bring your awareness to your breathing. And hold the attention on the breath and allow yourself to relax completely. Notice your thinking. If it's not with the body, not with the breath, bring it back. Once again, notice your thinking. If it's not with the body, not with the breath, bring it back.
Let your awareness leave your breath. Awaken the toes. Awaken the fingers. Bring your feet together. Bring your hands together. Reach them overhead onto the floor, stretching them away from your feet. Pushing the feet away from the hands, breathing deeply. Keep the right hand up there, bring your left hand onto your chest. Draw your knees up and roll to the right hand side. Take a moment here to thank yourself for taking this time to look after your body. Take a moment to thank your body for its amazing abilities. And take a moment to set the intention to find joy in each moment of this day. Lifting slowly, bring yourself up to sit, bring your hands together at heart center. Pull we'll into the thumb against the sternum and finding the vibration within the body of our closing arm. Take a deep inhale. Lower your chin to your chest, open your eyes, namaste. Great, thank you guys, thanks once again for joining me.